asking a question if anyone knows McDonald's. That's I know. Um, I've just learned to accept my profile because my nose goes down like you know. It's like my nose. It's like this like weird double chin thing that I have going on. Oh, apparently like, you're supposed to like like put your tongue on your roof. Yeah, that, that, that does not work. Or like I'm like I can't I can't get it. Like I'm like that doesn't work. I'm like it's like it's a weird motion. It's not like you're putting it on. You're like yeah, flattening it's, yourself. It's, I can't. It's so weird. Too much. No. But Super excited. <laughs> so Janelle is not vegan. I love that. But she's trying vegan things. And I love that. That I actually love. And we're going to go to Vegandale and try a bunch of food. Again, wearing a loose shirt and some shorts. Just ready for this. I am so ready for you to try vegan food. <laughs> I mean, I've tried vegan food. Vegetables are vegan. Like, okay, yeah, we know. Like, vegetables are vegan. We know. I'm done. I've had more than vegetables. I felt like an impossible burger before. Okay, word. Love that. It wasn't very good though. Uh, and I had that vegan mac and cheese at your house with the vegan meatball that one day. That's true. You did like that. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. So now we're gonna go to a whole festival to see vegan food. I'm we're pumped about that. Are you pumped? Yay! <laughs>
not bad. Yeah, like it's, I think they use seitan. I think maybe it's just too hot and it melted. And like, it's still a little too gooey right now. I think they over seasoned the meat or the whatever they use. It's not bad, it's just a little too much. Well, it's like, you know, they obviously like use buffalo sauce and whatever. And I think what they eat, like how hot it is, it's just melting off. So I'm just really tasting the seitan and pepper. Yeah, more than anything. very peppery. Yeah. Eh, four out of ten. <laughs> Alright, so honestly, each sandwich Zero stars. It was horrible. Each sandwich was $25, and to be perfectly honest, it was not worth it. Not even I'm sorry. I am sorry. It just was not. And I know over season, way too spicy, and I actually like spicy food, and it was just awful. You know what? Yeah, man, she's so, Zero out of she's 10 from stars. the Korean. <laughs> Zero out of 10 stars. <laughs> I still stick with four, especially because of how overpriced it was. It just is not it. But it's fine. Now we're on our way to get more different food at this point. We're on a mission to find Papa Fritas because that's always a safe choice. You can never go wrong. And then we're going to be more, and then we're going to be more adventurous coming soon. We gotta keep going. So in all honesty, um, see this right here, this is the shrimp basket from Oh My Cod. And I've had them before, and if I'm being perfectly honest, they've always been very good. The price was amazing, Janelle got some fries. The fries are amazing, the shrimp wasn't bad. And for the price, yo, for the price, we paid $24 for both things, which is a lot better than like, $50. I spent fifty dollars on two nasty ass sandwiches. They weren't edible. I'm sorry to that restaurant if you ever see this, but do better. <laughs> It's okay. One, two, Learn with criticism, right? Three, so, but oh my god, thank you for being One, the savior. Two, three, and not gonna lie to you guys, like if you don't see me posting more One, food two, that I tried three, here, three, it's really hot. It's Miami practically two, three, summer three, three, and three, 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 if anything, like fried food is just not the move in this heat. And it's only fried food. Yeah, like the majority is fried food. There's drinks, there's acai bowls, but the majority of food is fried or it's hot or, you know, like comfort food, which again is not a bad thing. It's great, but it's just really hot. And honestly, like I'm just dehydrated. Like all I want to do is just keep drinking water or buy some juice. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, so. This might be my last meal of the day. Um, I know there's other places and they looked really good. So hopefully next year I can come with a bigger appetite. But for now, it's gonna have to stop. It's late. We also waited so long to eat. Yeah. We didn't start eating until like four or five o'clock. Yeah. And that happens, you know, like you just... Because the lines are really long. You're waiting at least 30 minutes. Yeah, it's... For a yeah, it's that, it's that heat exhaustion, you know, and this part MC over here, if you're listening, kind of him in the background. He's been on 100 all day. Yeah, and I know that's their job, and he's trying, but I'm like, bro, I'm sorry I'm not more hype with you. It's just really hot, it's towards the middle of the end of the afternoon. It's like, what time is it now? It's like 6 o'clock. Yeah, it's like 6 o'clock now, you know, we're just now winding down, we had to walk, and, you know, the heat was crazy. Yeah, the wait was also long. Again, yeah. it's what is expected from a festival, but it's not, um, I'm just not in the mood to eat anymore. <laughs> just really, no, I just want it. Yeah, no, just, I just want to drink, drink more water. I need a high drink. We literally have to go walk like 30 minutes back to our car. Yeah, probably I'm going to plan this a little bit better. Maybe bring my own water if they allow that. I don't know. I did, and I got to bring my own water bottle, y'all, and I forgot. But in my defense, that's Nikki's fault because she got lost coming to my house. Okay, first of all, the GPS got me lost. It was she got hella lost, and then I texted her and I said they don't allow dogs. And but I see do? dogs! And what does she do? She brings her dog. So we had to drive all the way back to her house and then all the way down here. So, we love you though. Also, on my defense, I was ready at I'm stealing your fries. At very early in the morning. But someone wanted to leave at like 1.30. Well, I was busy last night, so I was busy. Yes, she was. I was babysitting, <laughs> y'all. Do not listen to her. <laughs> Gosh, you're awful. <laughs> awful. That was a really good trip. <laughs> it was. But overall, Janelle, as being a non vegan, please tell us your experience. I will say it could have been orchestrated a little better, but that's not a 
vegan food problem that's oh, the event um i think that things could have been a little no, bit more organized no however i will say they did a one on like directions it was very straightforward on like how to get here but um and then like spacing wise they could have like set up more places for like people to sit and eat because the eating area is on the other side of the event so it's literally like a division but other than that it was fun i'm having fun you can't really do anything about people that's like going to a theme park and saying there's too many people well it's a theme park yeah, overall, I really did like this event. Um, I think I just needed to plan a little better. We should probably like next time plan for sure, do more accordingly. But I had a great time. Plan to come earlier, bring chairs, you know, bring our own water. Yep. Next year, we'll we will plan better to make the event better for us. Yeah. And we'll make sure we bring our appetites. So I could try more food, give you guys more reviews. But other than that, if you like content like this, please like and subscribe. Um, and drop a comment below if you like me to go around do vegan festivals and give you guys a review on what they are and, you know. Yeah. All right. So, goodbye from